welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Claire and please smash the subscribe button just here smash the subscribe button and I do story times mainly so welcome please join my family also please like my video like this video and yeah I think I'm gonna get right into it as you can see in the in the title <laughs> it's five things they don't tell you about driving in Kla in Kampala now I have a list number one on my list is they don't tell you that Kampala has big ass potholes oh my god the potholes are over and above the supply price <laughs> You'll be moving, like speeding, and then out of the blue, you just do into a fat ass pothole. And as now that people who drive locals, you just feel everything that you hold, you even hit your ass on the chair, come back. <sighs> My goodness, Kampala has fat ass potholes. I don't get me started about when it rains. When it rains, Heavily, obviously the potholes get full of water. So when you're entering a pothole, it's like you're driving into a a pond, uh, a pond that is not so deep. Oh my God! <laughs> and the road that I use when I'm going to work every morning has uncountable potholes. Oh my Jesus! Uh, when I'm when I'm going to work, I always pass through, pass through Chamogo University and come out like that. Face technologies from when I enter the university up to when I finished the road of face technologies. I'm just on this plan. <laughs> I've tried to cram some bottles, but you can't cram them all. You come on a random day and find a new bottle. Are you like, what the hell is this? Campbell has potholes. I think the only road that I drive on the day and have potholes is the road from the stage to my home, of which. It's Uganda. I wouldn't be shocked if one day I'm driving home and there's a new portal on our dearest road. Because almost all the roads have portals if you're not going to work. You can't like, if you're like in a hurry, you can't rush in peace. You're running when you're like, mm -hmm. stepping on the brake. Just in case you find a surprise new hole. Oh my god. Driving in Kla? Port Olds. Oh my god. Excuse me. The next thing about driving in car, number two, is the border border drivers. I mean border border riders. Those are the for those of you who are not from East Africa. The border borders are motorcycles, motorcycle riders. Hmm. You're there peacefully moving on the road. You want to turn. You look left, to right. Everything they taught you in driving school, <laughs> crossing the road, school. You see the road is clear, you're just standing like, mm -hmm. a border comes out of the blue. I know the, the funny thing with those men, they'll come out of the blue, like you had already seen them, and then they'll behave in this ratchet manner, hit the car. This is the time I was turning onto the main road, and I didn't see anything. I'm now just joining to turn, then a border appeared from nowhere, and the guy was so pissed with me. He like drove, uh, I don't even know how to explain I was sloping down so he and he was going the opposite side up. So he like make sure I, before I pass by him completely, he came to my car. Morning. Morning. <laughs> came to my car and he did. Came to where I was. I was like, what up? Came and make sure he like reached where my car was, like slapped it as if slapping a chick's ass. Those bad men at me. Can you imagine? <laughs> then even when you, all the time I was turning onto the main, uh, another road again was at light, so when the lights turned green and yeah, so there was another time, I was turning like at the lights and I'm turning to go to join a road. So like I indicate and I look in my side mirror. This no. I look in one of the side mirrors. There's, there isn't anyone. I look on the other side mirror. I don't see anyone. So as I'm turning, I just stare. 
tell me why there was a border next to my car. Yet, like the side I was turning to is where he was. Yet, I think he was going in a different direction. I'm like, you saw me indicating. I'm turning, and you're there, like. My goodness, bonda bonda in class. Then oh my god, do you know what happened yesterday? In fact, this is happening like last night. I was taking my friend home, and we were, yeah, moving on the road, talking, talking. What? I'm talking a, a lot as usual. <laughs> so as we are moving, I just see there was a. I know when you're uh, at a roundabout, there's that car round thing. It's either round or uh, like a triangle. So there was a the, the roundabout we were at had a triangle built for like where yakas can rotate around. So this Buddha Buddha guy drives straight into the triangle. And remember it's like in the middle of bricks, I think. So like he hit the brick, the Buddha stood. The man, oh my god. But I mean by the way, I just going to I don't know. The Buddha stood. Then the man like flew off his border, hit his head on that triangle roundabout thing, hit his head and like lands, he did like a somersault and like landed the other side, the Buddha falls on him. Oh my god. It was so scary. I mean this is how these people kill people, like kill passengers. No one hit him, there was no car, he was not swerving, the road was empty. It was like at eleven PM. I'm like, the man fell, then after, like by the time we reached where he was, like when we were passing by, he had sat and he was just, he was like, I think he's high on drugs. Oh my God, borders in class. <laughs> I also use them, but advice, if you ever sit on a board, I'm not in a hurry, tell that guy, I'm not in a hurry, go slowly, we don't need to run. Because at the end of the day, this mean, I don't know. We just have to, we have to give it to Jesus because it will be the death of most of us. <laughs> the third thing we need to be about driving life. Everyone is an impatient driver. Even me, I've learned, like, you have to get with a program. <laughs> You're trying to be good. You're giving people away. You see someone is trying to join the way, like, let me give them away, let them pass. Mm -mm. Give one person away, a whole line of like 10 cars is going to come. People behind you are going to start hooting. Pressure. You're just on pressure. As in, even when you're like on the main road and you have like the right of way, someone will just join the road before you because they can. And I, I, what I think goes through most of uh, people's minds, like drivers on Kampala roads, is that whoever is driving a car can see. Because remember, before you get a driving permit, you have to go for that eye test to add. You can't see. So if you see a car coming out of the blue, you can't see it. So you, as a responsible driver, you have to stop. Because who wants to be knocked? Who wants to knock someone? No one. So just they are moving in peace. You just see a car coming. Break, wait for them to join. And ask Nag again who drives small cars. Everyone bullies you from the border guys to the taxi drivers. For me, I'm not just used. I can just be there moving in peace. Someone has not indicated. They just do you. join. People are so impatient. My goodness, when you're in traffic and the lights turn orange and you've not yet begun moving. And you're, the, you're at the start of the line, you're in trouble. Hooting, what? But I mean, I'm hooting. Taxi men are hooting. No more drivers are hooting. You're like, you guys. I want the light to turn green. Because what, what scares me about moving before the light turns green? I'm like, other cars might be moving from another side. And we collide, just find a surprise car there and collide. Ah. And I was telling the lights find me at the front. I'm like, she, the pressure is on. <laughs> You have to move. Chop, chop. I'm like, what's in my mind? I'm like, are people running to save a life? Then people, like, move fast and they, um, I respect them. I'm ambulances. I'm like, I don't know. Even if the ambulance has no patient or what, <laughs> I don't care. Those are the only cars that I respect. But I like kissing someone in a normal car. I'm like, I hope you reach work. 
10 minutes earlier than others. I hope they give you a raise, cause then you're moving in the morning and you see someone is rushing. I'm like, friend, no one told you to wake up late. So do not make us hurry. Like we're in the same boat as you. Oh my God, people can just be annoying on the road. <laughs>